In this video, you will learn about relations. Now, you must be wondering, what do you mean by relations? Let's say you have two sets. Okay. If you were to form the ordered pairs of these sets, let's denote these by the number of ordered pairs that you will get will be how many? 3 into 4. This we know because it's the factor of number of elements of this set into this set. If you were to represent these by way of let's say two circles you get R B G here you get A S G C. Now if you start forming pairs you get R A R S R G R C Similarly you will have B A and you have G A I've just formed this very quickly, but you can please take your time to form these pairs. So all in all, you have 12 functions. Now, what you mean by relation is that you form a subset. This is what? This is the Cartesian product. Now what you do is, you tend to form a subset of this. What do you mean by relation? Relationship is something which describes the relation between two sets. Let's say this was set A, this was set B. Okay? Now, if suppose, you know, you can write a relationship. What kind of a relation you want to write? Let's say we write x, y such that x is the color of elements in B and x belongs to A and y belongs to B. Now if you see you have red over here. So red is the color of what? It's the color of the apple. Blue. Blue is the color of the sky and blue can also be the color of the sea. Green. Green is the grass. So you can define the relationship X. X is the color of the element in B. So we have the colors in A and we have items in B. So what I did was I defined a relationship that X is the color of element in the B and X belongs to A. So, so which all will be covered here? Red apple. Okay. Blue sky. Blue sea. Then green grass. So these four are basically covered by this relationship. And these four, when taken together, form a subset of the Cartesian product. So this is basically how you kind of 
deal with these situations okay so relationship basically between two non empty set now if it one of these was empty obviously there could not be a relationship suppose there was nothing out here then there is no relationship so relations have to be between two non empty sets where you kind of derive a relationship between two sets there may be a relationship there may not be a relationship but when there is a relationship you call it as relations <laughs>